What's going on guys? I left you off in the last episode with this earth. We um, don't have the emissive coming through yet, we don't have the speculate, and we don't have the normals, so this episode is going to go through those three things. So I left you off with this being a bit messy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of that, we're going to push C, and we're going to name it to something a bit nicer. Um, just quickly, I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you much for supporting the channel. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Alright, so we got our box here, and we can call this uh, Atmosphere Mask. You can call it whatever you want, really. I mean, yeah, I did call it Atmosphere Mask in the other one, actually. I'm going to call it Atmo Mask for short. So that's looking quite nice. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do now is our spec and our roughness. So I bring this here. First thing we need to start doing it is we need to start getting this sort of the colour we want it to be. We first also need to put our panner on it. Because we want this to obviously follow everything that's going on with here. Because if it's out of position, your roughness isn't going to move the same speed as your diffuse. So now, what we want to do is we need to cut so if we keep this as it is we can very easily have that being our water that being our land being shiny however we have clouds we need to worry about if we don't because this is all one material what we need to do is we need to make sure we include the clouds and this is very important because without this the clouds when they go over the water are going to sharp as really shiny and we don't want that so putting a one minus here and let me just quickly find the box I use for this. Okay, yeah. So I just simply grab the clouds. Whoops. And I throw them into there. And then I multiply the values together. Alright, now as you can see, the clouds are over the top. So, like, a, um, and they obviously float above the objects as well, slightly, because of our um, bump offset. That's why when I zoomed in really close, it warps a little bit. But you won't be able to notice that from a distance. And it gives it a nicer effect because it obviously looks like it's sitting away from the object. So now <clears throat> these things are going to come up as being rough. Because clouds are not shiny, clouds are rough. So after you've done this, we can... We have to multiply this now by our um, <clears throat> atmosphere mask. And the reason I did this was because when I didn't have this on, what it made it do was when you looked at the atmosphere, it was shiny over like the water, where we don't really want that. We want it to look rough because it's the sort of atmosphere. It's not going to have much reflection. So if I preview that, as you can see, if I zoom out, you can see the edges have got darker. I don't know if that was noticeable, but you can see it's sharp. And then there's a slight darkness when I apply that. And that actually looks really cool, just like that. But um, so now we want to clamp that down. I wish there was a shortcut for clamp because I usually use a lot of them because they are sort of a fail safe just in case you went over or under, you went over one or under zero. All right, so we want a one minus. We want a add. And what we want to do here is I did set up a roughness and a spec for this. So what I did was I made my add a point four, And I believe this was my roughness. So we put that into our roughness. And then apparently I use a subtract here. And then I clamped it and put that into our specular, which doesn't sound right actually. I should have. Oh, I've already got the one minus here. No, that does sound right. Okay. And then I put this into our specular. So this one into our roughness. In fact, to make it easier, this one into our roughness, this one into our specular. And now if we look at our earth, you can see that the water is shinier. It's not too much shinier. Um, you can mm, this one. You can mess with it by lowering this value, I believe. Let me check. Start preview. I raise that to one. Yeah. So if we um, 
lower this value, you will get the water being darker, which means it will be shinier. So if we go like that, the water will be a bit shinier. And if we, oh, I think this is subtract 0.1, yes. 0.1. There you go, now the water's really shiny. So you can mess with this as much as you want. If you want your water to be shinier, you can make it shinier. It's all personal preference. I have mine at 0.4, because apparently that's what I liked at the time. That way you can see shine, nice shine on land. Shine, no shine on land, shine on the ocean, like the um, lakes, but no shine on the land. And if we look, it doesn't shine on the clouds, which is one of the most important things that I nearly forgot when I was making the earth. Okay, so now that's our specular all sorted out. Or roughness was both. We can call it spec slash rough. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. Um, if you do want to sort of go over what I've done, you can just sort of go back to that part of the video, I guess. Um, now we need to sort out our emissive. And I don't think I ever actually used this bump. Um because the normals looked good enough from what I remember. Yeah, I never used that bump. You can set it up if you want. I just didn't find too much of a use for it. Um, so yeah, now we need to sort the lights. So I, this is why I told you to get this one. It was called Cities. And when all it does is have the lights come through. Now, what we want the lights to do is only activate when it goes to the dark side of the Earth. So now, let's get our light colour, and I, oh, that's a 4 vector, not a 3, or 4 constant. We want to set that to sort of a very slight orange tint. Ugh, <laughs> that's not very nice. Uh, maybe there-ish? Yeah, that's good enough. Then we want to lap that together. And we basically <clears throat> we basically want it so where the lights aren't going to be, it's going to be darkness. So if we lerp, we put you into our alpha, you into our B value, and you into our A value as a zero. So if I look at that, they're just slightly orange. So now we need to lerp our directional mask or a dark side mask. So level up. This comes into B. We want it to be black again for where it's not going to be affected and is it yep directional mask we want that to be in our alpha so now if i pre if i preview that you see on this side it's complete darkness and on this side there's lights it's very dull at the moment we'll change that in a second by just getting a multiply throwing it in times it by five and then preview that and you can see they're coming through a bit more now Then we want to connect this up to another lap. And we want it not to affect the cloud. So when the clouds go over the top, we want the lights to essentially turn off. So to do this, this little one minus one value here we made earlier. We want to set to our alpha. And before I forget, we want to set up our panner. And I believe our panner just simply goes into there. Again, pan is important. You forget it, your stuff isn't going to move at the right speed. So um, that connects into, I believe, B. And we connect another zero up to A. So now it might be hard to see. But when the clouds do go over here, we'll cut it off wherever they are. It's very dark, so it's obviously harder to tell. But when the clouds go over top of it, it will cut the light off. Now we want to put this into our emissive, I believe just straight in is fine. Now if we come back in, you can see when it goes over to there, it lights up. And you could change this <clears throat> if you want it to be a lot brighter when it goes over there, like 50 or something insane. You can make it do that. It will appear better on here. I mean, if I change that to 5, I mean, it all depends how you light up your world. That should be, it should glow, there you go, quite a bit. And we are pretty much almost done. All we need to do now is set up our normals, and just this gives it a little bit more depth. 
and I think that's why I didn't use a bump offset was because because it's such a big it's like a whole planet um, unless you want to get close to it you're not going to see much of the actual bump but you will see the normals the way that the light affects it so again I believe this one we want to fit first again panner forget that it's not going to move at the right speed all right then I believe we need a separate one for this one yep so for this one that's the cloud one yep cloud normals which I manually made if you don't have your cloud normals get um, this throw it into Photoshop if you have quicks or X normals and just make some normals from it if you don't use crazy bump or whatever program you're sort of you sort of use to make normal maps if you don't have to do that I do have a video that I if I remember I'll leave it in the description and I'll it'll show you guys how to make normals from just a black and white map All right so now what we want to do is we want to grab this part wait yeah this box we just want to set up our panner and put it there so now you've got your cloud panner panning at the right speed like the cloud normals and you've got your uh, like the normals of the earth panning at the right speed you might if it's incorrect you might have to come into and this is always important whenever you're using um, UE4 there sometimes you might just have to invert the green channels and what that does is it looks fine now but for some reason in UE4 the green channel if you flip the green channels it will then go the right way I've never found out why the green channels are wrong most of the time but yeah if it looks wrong fit the green channels and it should be right right so um carrying on what we need to do is we need to basically just lap these two together um and then we need to find the right alpha mask which is there yep so we want to get the clouds from here can add that up to the alpha because basically where the clouds exist we want them to have their own normals but the clouds don't exist we want the earth to have its normals and making sure I connect this the right way around so the clouds go into B value and the earth goes into A value and what this will do is you'll have your clouds sitting on top of their different normals and when you go over the top of it you'll see they will sort of go actually over the top instead of combining with um, the earth normals will actually sit on top of it like they are their own normals and then we just connect this to a normal map and that's done um, except from organization so we can like click on here oh god and missive can okay, select these guys normals if I zoom out like I said it's a bit messy you guys will probably find a better way to make this look a bit cleaner. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you make the Earth. And it's pretty much how you make any planet. If you want to do um, the moon, you're obviously not going to have your atmosphere. But you'll have like the dark side and everything. And you can mess around with like doing the moon. And you can sort of do whatever you want. But that's pretty much how you set up your basic Earth. They pretty much turned out the exact same. I did follow the texture this one had. But yeah. And that is how you set up your Earth. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon link will be in the description. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. And bye-bye.